everybody. Welcome to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and I thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This is a day of rejoicing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Let's read the Word of God. Before I read, though, I pray, Father, you'd hide me behind the cross. There'd be none of me. But all of you, thank you, Holy Ghost, let me decrease that you may increase, Father. Let me sit down and you speak up, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. May the Word of God come forward with truth, clarity, and understanding. I thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord, for the Word of God coming forth today in Jesus' name. Hide me behind the cross, putting my sins under the blood, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, they may only hear you through me is my prayer. Let everybody leave here singing tonight. I got just what I wanted from the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We welcome your presence, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Genesis 2, verse 2, chapter 2, verse 2. Actually, verse 1 to verse 2 of Genesis chapter 2. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And the Lord told me, the best way to start this message is to take it back to the beginning. Bless the Holy Ghost. God's rest is for the rest of us, is what I'm preaching about today. I thank you, Holy Ghost, for the Word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost, the living Lord. So the heavens and the earth, this is the Amplified Bible, were completed, and all of the host, the habitation of them. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And by the seventh day, God had completed his work which he had done, and he rested. He ceased to work on that part of creation any longer. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Now, in Genesis 1... He did say, let us make man in our own image. That was the first set of people. That was to multiply the earth. That was to subdue the earth and multiply it. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if he's going to put somebody to subdue it, he needed to also put somebody in to see over it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. So in Genesis 1, God created man first. Then in Genesis 2, he created another man and another woman Adam and Eve, these two were to walk with God. God wanted somebody to rest in Him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. So ever since the first day of creation, God has been looking not just for us to rest in God, but for Him to rest in us. Exodus 20, 8 through 11 speaks about how God, actually, let's go there. Exodus, bless the Lord. Exodus, chapter 20. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I hope this is going to bless somebody today. Hallelujah. Actually, uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Exodus 20, chapter 20. Verses 8 through 11. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy set apart, dedicated unto God, six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the Sabbath day, which is actually Saturday biblically, thou shalt rest. But the seventh day is a Sabbath day. But the Sabbath day is a Sabbath day, a day of rest, dedicated to the Lord your God. On that day you shall not do any work, you or your sons or your daughters or your male servants, or your female servants, or those who are of your livestock, or those temporary taking residence in your home, for who stays within your city gates. Thank you, Holy Ghost. For the sixth day is the Lord. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, 
the sea and everything in them. And he rested, ceased from doing so on the Sabbath day. That is why the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. That is set apart for his presence and his purpose, for his purpose. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Everything I'm reading from today is from the Amplified Bible. God wanted not just us to rest. That's why he put it in a commandment. And that is not changed, friends. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Now, the Bible does say in Corinthians, I believe it is, let no man tell you what your Sabbath day is. But I'm going to tell you, if you're going to biblically do it, go to church on Saturday if you feel like that's what you need to do. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. I'm just telling you what I've been taught by the Holy Ghost. And to me, that's enough, friend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. I'm going to go back and teach you a little bit about what I said originally about the one man, one originally. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Genesis 1, 27. So God created man in his own image, and in the image of likeness of God, he created them. Male and female created he them. Now, that was for those to do, to do the work on the earth and to make it subdue and, you know, to have somebody to take care of what God had brought to the earth. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Genesis 2, though, it says, uh, Genesis 2, And the Lord God formed the creation of the body of man from the dust, Genesis 2 and uh, Genesis 2 and 8. Genesis 2, 5. No shrub or plant in the field was yet in the earth, and no herb in the field had yet sprouted, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no man to cultivate the ground. Now, in Genesis 1, he done created man and women. That was the first Set. That was to do the work outside of the glory. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. That would be what you would call the Gentile people, those who would not ever come to faith in Christ. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. He created a certain people to live, and then he created another people for his own pleasure. Genesis 2, verse 5. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. But verse 6, but a mist, a fog, dew, a vapor, used to rise from the land and water in the entire surface of the ground. Surface of the ground. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Then the Lord God formed that as created the body of a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Now, God created man, but he's the only man in the garden that has the Spirit of God of paradise on earth. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Literally, he was a part of bringing heaven to earth. He was a Kairos man. And wherever he went, God was with him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. God wanted somebody to rest in him. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. If somebody would go and tend the garden or whatever they're doing, they're relaxing, right? I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. What was Adam doing? He was not working the garden. He was resting in the garden. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. You can do the work of God and rest in God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. There's coming a day, though, when the fullness of the gospel will be completely understood, and that day we will rest in the rest of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. This message, the devil did not want me to preach. My voice would not come back, and the saints got a hold of God with me. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. And I got healed, and I'm preaching today. The devil lost the victory. I'm going to preach till the last breath leaves my body, and I go home to be with Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. If you don't like what I'm preaching, just shut me off. Everything I'm saying is absolutely 100% biblical. You can go back and look it up for yourself. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Genesis 2, verses 5 through 8, though, it says, And the Lord God planted in the garden in the east of Eden, and the light land happiness, and he put the man whom he had formed, created there in the garden of the Lord God, Cause to grow from the ground. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Now, wait a minute. God put somebody in the midst of his rest. 
He created somebody to take care of the rest of his rest. Come on now. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. God created it, and we have the right to partake because Jesus gave back what Adam gave away. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Jesus, the last Adam, gave back what the first one gave away. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. The power to subdue and have whatever God has promised us. For he made the unseen, invisible thing visible by his spoken word. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Ever since God created the garden, he's been looking not for us, not just for himself to rest, but us to rest in him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. That's why he commanded it, Exodus 20, 8 through 11. I love you, Holy Ghost. The dove, when it was released, thank you, Holy Ghost, from the ark, the first thing it did was look for a place of rest. Genesis 8 and 9. Thank you, Holy Ghost. When Jacob, when Jacob handed his first, had his first encounter with God, he rested his head in a place of a rock and a hard place. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. He used a rock to rest his head, but look at this. God let him rest on the run. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. He was a fugitive that God let rest because he got him to a place where he got him in a corner of glory land. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Genesis 28, 18. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. He got him between a rock and a God place. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. But he let him rest on the run. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Genesis 28, 18. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God promised Moses he would give him rest. Exodus 33, 14. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. No matter how hard of a journey you're on right now, bless the Holy Ghost. God will give you rest. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Remember. Remember when... I said God wants to rest in us. We rest in him. Isaiah 11 and 2. Go there with me now. If you got your Bible, say amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I'm in the preaching and the teaching mood tonight. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Mm -hmm, yeah, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. This is an awesome message that God has just shot through my spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I was talking to my rabbi friend today, and I told him about it. He said, my gosh, Brother Henry, preach it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. He said, Brother Henry, when you're going to glory, your sermons are going to outlive you. I said, thank you, Jesus. I believe it, brother. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Isaiah 11 Mm -hmm. Are you ready to rest in God, friend? Well, if you ain't, bless the Lord, you're going to be by the end of this message. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And I'm going to show you how to rest in God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Quit wrestling with God like Jacob did and rest in God. I hear the Lord tell me to tell somebody. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. If you're fighting God, honey, you're on the losing end. He's going to win. You're wrestling with God. You're boxing God in the boxing ring of salvation. Let me tell you, in eternity, honey, you're going to get two hits. God's going to hit you, and you're going to hit the mat. That's what my pastor Lee always tells. Or that's what he said one time, and I actually picked that up, and it's stuck with me forever. It's something that's forever a part of me. He said, if you don't quit boxing God, here's what's going to happen. You're going to get two hits. God's going to hit you, and you're going to hit the mat. God's a loving God, but he won't be... No one can intimidate my God. That's why every devil in hell is afraid of my God. And when they see you coming, God in you, 
is what frightens the devil. It ain't nothing to do with you, hoss. You ain't all that in a bag of potato chips. My God created the earth and he's living in his creation. So when you come around and you're in him and he's in you, any demon that sees him says, oh, the creator's in that one. The force is strong with that one. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. We got to watch out for that one. That one's somebody we don't want to mess with. That's what the devil says every time he looks at you. Because God is living in you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And you're living in God. Isaiah 11 and 2. God's resting in you. And you're resting in God. Are you ready to rest in God today? Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I'm almost done. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. 11 verse. I bless the Holy Ghost. 11 verse 2. And by the way, thank you, Jesus, for 3,170 souls so far on YouTube. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And another soul got saved the other day. And I thank God for that soul that made it into the kingdom. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Ghost, for saving souls. This is what it's about. Everything you've ever said, and when you're dead and gone, nothing will matter, really, except if you saved souls. Souls are the things that God cares about. He who wins souls is wise. If you hear a preacher asking for your money, honey, hit the bricks and don't ever come back to that church because that ain't a man of God. If they ain't after your soul, then they ain't after you. Truly, they ain't after what you've got in your life. The only thing you can take with you, honey, is souls. You can't take silver. Bless the Holy Ghost. You can't take gold. You can't take diamonds or rubies or emeralds or any precious stones with you. Honey, he's got it all up yonder. He's the, he owns the cattle on a thousand hills, baby. He don't eat hamburger meat. God wants to give you rest. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. But not just here and not just in eternity. He wants to give you rest here on this earth while you've got breath in that body. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. And the Spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. The Spirit of counsel, strength, and the Spirit of knowledge, and the revelation and abundant fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. And he will not judge by what his eyes see, nor make decisions by what his ears hear. But with the righteousness and justice, he will judge the poor. That's the poor in spirit, not the physically poor. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And, and decide with fairness the downtrodden of the earth. That's verse 4, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. And the righteous will be the belt around his loins. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. Honey, if you feel so far away from God, don't worry. You're right. Con you're connected to his hip, honey. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. Hey, glory to God. And the righteousness shall be a belt around the loins of the Lord, and the faithfulness, the belt around his waist. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. If you stay faithful to God, he's going to keep you to his side. He's going to pull you to your, his side, and he ain't going to let you go. Honey, don't worry if you stumble. If you've fallen into the mud and the mar of your own mind, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Now, somebody who don't understand what I was praying in tongues earlier, God is praying for a breakthrough in your life to come even tonight in your mind that you may enter rest in Jesus' name. Wow, what a word. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. If you're in the mud and the mar of your own soul right now, but you're holding on to the cross, you can find a way out. Just push up. Bless the Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus, because he won't let go of you if you won't let go of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, I ain't done yet with the message. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. 
and the calf and the young lion and the fatted steer together and the little child will lead them. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And the wolf will dwell with the lamb and the leopard will lie down with the young goat and the calf and the young lion and the fatted steer together and the little child will lead them and the cow and the bear will graze together. Their young will lie down together. The lion will eat the straw like an ox and the nursing child will safely play over the hole of the cobra. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Sisters and brothers, it's not over yet. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. We think we've found heaven on earth yet. He's going to bring that reality of heaven that no harm shall come nigh your dwelling to earth. He wants to make heaven on earth a reality, but he wants to bring earth to heaven. He wants us to rest in him as we rest in God. He wants to rest in us. The rest, God's rest, is for the rest of us today. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. When God come in flesh, he rested in flesh. The dove found his rest. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Actually, let me go ahead and read verse 1 of that chapter. Then a chapter 11 of Isaiah Then a shout, the Messiah, then a shout, a shoot, the Messiah will spring forth. Then suddenly the Messiah will spring forth from the stock of Jesse, David's father, and a branch from his roots will bear fruit. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. And the Spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. And that's when it goes into who God is going to be. And, you know, this script, well, let me go ahead Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Friends, there is a remnant. A remnant of those who will rest in God. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. So officially I read Isaiah 11, 1 through 8. And you're going to read the rest of it in your other time. But I'm just giving you an example of the child went over to the cobra's hole and didn't get bit. He played with a lion and didn't get ate. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. God would give a rest. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is no fear in God except to fear God, to reverence Him, to love Him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for this word. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Bless the Holy Ghost. When God came in flesh, he rested in flesh. The dove found his rest. That's why Jesus said he would give us rest. Matthew 2, Matthew 11, thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus, 28 through 30. Come unto me, all who are heavy burdened and laden, and I will give you rest, is what it says But I'm just going to go ahead and read it with you. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. I'm going to go ahead and read every scripture the Lord will let me read with you. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. I ain't even got my glasses on tonight. But God is using me to preach this Christmas Eve message. Friend, what is the greatest gift you could give the God who owns everything? Your greatest gift you can give him is the gift of knowing him yourself, giving him yourself. He knows you better than you'll ever know yourself. So the best gift you can give God is to give God yourself. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Matthew 8. I can get these pages apart. Matthew 8. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Matthew 11. Sorry. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Jesus. 11. 28. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And I got to turn the page anyways. 28 through 30. 11, 28 through 30. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy burdened by religious rituals that provide no peace. There it is, the rest of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And this is the Amplified again, y'all. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Amen. 
and I will give you rest, refreshing your soul with salvation. Remember that, refreshing your soul with salvation. Amplified, y'all. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Two, take upon my yoke upon, take my yoke upon you. Learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Take me, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Follow me and my disciple. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest, renewal, blessed quietness for your soul. For my yoke is easy to bear, and my burden is light. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. God wants to give you something easy in Him. He wants you to rest in the fact that if he said it, you can bank on it. You can take it to the bank even though you can't see nothing yet and still draw interest. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, because you know it's there. You just can't see it yet. Faith is the evidence of things hoped for. Rest. The evidence of things not seen. You're resting in the fact that though you can't see it, God said it, and that's good enough as if it's already happened for you. When you start talking and believing like that, that's when the miracle's going to come, honey. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. I had no idea I was going to preach anything like this. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I was going to preach on the fires of hell tonight. Lord said, no, I don't want you to preach that tonight. He said, you preach so much about hell. Tell them about the rest of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Jesus said he would give you rest, Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. We are told several times to keep to rest in the Lord, even when it looks like the enemy's won. Psalm 37 and 7. Turn there with me, if you will. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. I was told the other day that I should start reading some of my scriptures, and, and I am today. Because I am absolutely loving what the Holy Ghost has given me. I didn't even really read what I was writing down. I just wrote it down as the Holy Ghost told me. I said, Lord, I'll read it. And the Lord said, no, I want you to read it as you're reading the word to them tonight. So, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Be still before the Lord. Wait patiently for Him and entrust yourself to Him. Do not fret when agonize or wine or agonize because of Him who proposes in His way, He continues in His wicked way, because of the man who carries out wicked works, wicked schemes. Cease from anger and abandon wrath, for thus who do evil will be cut off. But those who wait for the Lord, they will inherit the land. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. What does it mean to wait on God, to rest in God? And it don't mean not to do nothing. That word wait is like for a waitor. You've got to serve God, though you ain't seen the blessing yet. Keep on going because you've already been promised it. Keep on looking. Keep on going. Keep on doing what you're called to do. We're supposed to occupy ourselves until he comes. That don't just mean the second coming when he comes to take us home. But I thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord. It also means to do work for him till he shows up for you. Continue to fast and pray and worship God and seek his face. Suddenly, God, whom you was not even looking for at that point, because you got so focused on the glory that you forgot about the gore of your own life, God will do a suddenly miracle. He'll suddenly show up when you least expect it as you're worshiping and praising the living God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I hope somebody's getting a word today. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I pray that somebody leaves singing. Like I said earlier, I got just what I wanted from the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. The Lord told me, he said, I want my people to have my rest. That's what I'm doing this message for today on Christmas Eve, that you would rest in the presence of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Jesus. 
Think about that, the Christmas. It's all about the Christmas spirit. It's all about the presence under the tree. But Jesus died on a tree to give you, by his spirit, rest in your life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, dear. He said, I've come that you might have life. Have it more abundantly. What does that mean? I came that you might live and rest in me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. It's not about presence. It's about presence. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Jesus. Greatest gift you could ever give the God of heaven and earth is to give him your own life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Amen. In a high place, Think of this, in a high place on a mountain, the very thing, the ark that carried a hope of a better future rested upon a mountain. Genesis 8 and 4. When God is done bringing you into a place, he ain't just going to let it crash into the ocean. Well, I'm just going to cover it up and it's just going to be a bunch of rubble. No, whatever God makes, God preserves. It rested, Genesis 8 4, upon a mountain. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Jesus. Between two mountains, God rested above the mercy seat. Exodus 25, 8 and 9. Exodus 25, 22. First Samuel. Can't read my writing, y'all. 14 and 4. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Numbers 7, 8 and 9. Numbers 7, 8 through 9, I believe that is. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. But now... His mercy wants to rest in us. Acts 17, 24. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Jesus. Amen. Now, for the sake of time, I didn't read all them scriptures, but thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Jesus. Amen. Love you, Lord. God's mercy, God rested, the drudge of heaven rested over mercy that laid under judgment, that laid over judgment. God's commands, his law, his Those who could not keep the law, he still showed a side of mercy. The mercy seat and the blood was sprinkled upon the mercy seat. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Even when Christ ascended to heaven, he sprinkled his own blood upon the mercy seat. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Jesus. Hebrews 9 and 12. I thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Jesus. He promised it. In Malachi 3 and 11, the God that you seek will suddenly appear in his temple. He fulfilled that in, thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. Ezekiel 37, 27, he promised it also in Ezekiel 37, 27. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He fulfilled it in Second Corinth, in John 1, 14, and in 2 Corinthians 6, 16, Matthew 1, 23. Do you know... Uh, I, actually, let me go back and let me let you hear that one. First John, John 1, thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. John 1, 14, God became flesh and dwelt among us. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. Matthew 1, 23, he will be called Emmanuel, God with us. Do you know he gives his beloved sleep or rest? If you ain't been able to rest, sleep with a Bible under your pillow and declare the Word of God in Psalms 127, 1 through 2. He gives His beloved rest. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Jesus. We will find our rest in God, both here and in eternity. Psalms 62 and 5. Matthew 25, 21. Enter into the place of rest. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Or enter into the place, enter into thy joy, is what it says. Enter into, enter into the joy, the enter in now the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. But what do we find in strength? We find our rest. So we can enter into the rest in eternity here as well as on earth. Matthew twenty five twenty one. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hebrews 4, 1 through 13, Psalms 132 and 8. Don't be weary, friends, in your well-doing, because your harvest is coming, Galatians 6, 9, and you will reap a harvest if you faint not. Rest in that promise that God said your harvest 
what's coming. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Jesus. Amen. Rest in him. And everything will be all right. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Isaiah 40 and 31. Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. Those who wait, those who rest upon the Lord, shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not be faint. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Jeremiah 31. And 25 declares the same thing about the rest of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I have heard it always said that there is no rest for the weary. Jeremiah 31, 25 said he gives his children rest. Jeremiah 31, 25. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Declares that he gives rest to the weary that are his own. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. So, that old saying has now become a lie. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Because he gives rest to the weary. Though everybody says, oh, there's no rest for the weary. That's actually denying scripture that's going against the word of God. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's starting to bother me. <coughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Amen. I'm so glad I'm at the end of this message now. Isaiah 48:22. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Correction brings rest proverbs 29 17 it says that those who are wicked will not enter his rest though hebrews 3 11 thank you holy ghost i do love you jesus hallelujah lord oops hallelujah there is no rest for the wicked isaiah 48 22 it says that there's no rest for the wicked but what does bring rest? Correction. It, it, it brings rest. Correction brings you rest. Proverbs twenty nine seventeen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. But for the wicked, there is no rest. Isaiah 48, 22. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It says that those who are wicked will not enter into the rest of God. Hebrews three eleven. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Come today and find your rest. If you're weary from sin and you're weary because you're wicked, you can find your rest today. You can settle the score with God because he already settled the score with you 2,000 years ago. He died on the cross to settle the score with you. He died for you because you couldn't pay for the fine for yourself. If you've not found rest because of your sin, I'd like you to read Acts three nineteen through 20, repent of your sins and be baptized. That the All right, let me read it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. I hope that this message has blessed you. This is the last scripture I'm reading today. And the church said, Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. The devil did not want this message out because he's mad about it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. If y'all just repent. I don't know how much longer this video is going to last, but if you'll just repent. And come to God, ask Him to forgive you of your sins, fill you with the Spirit, wash you, cleanse you, tell you, believe you, died on the cross that God raised Him from the dead, God the Father raised God the Son from the dead, ask Him to fill you with God the Holy Ghost, that you might make heaven your home, wash you and cleanse you, live in your heart and be your very best friend. I didn't even know I was going to do that right there. That's the altar call. If you just missed it, rewind it. God has given you a chance to rest in Him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Now, if you're bound up, in your mind, the scripture in Acts 3, 18 through 20. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. The Bible says in the book of Acts, there is by no other name under heaven given to man that a man might be saved, but by the name of Jesus. The name saved. You know, the name Jesus means God saves. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. The word saved means completely lacking nothing. Hallelujah. So if you want to be free and lacking nothing, come get your rest in the one. Put your hand in the hand of the man who stilled the water. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Put your hand in the hand of the man that calmed the sea. Hallelujah. Take a look at yourself. And you will look at others differently by putting your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Yeah.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you prayed that prayer, ask Jesus to forgive you your sins, to come into your heart, to cleanse you, to wash you, to be the spirit that you might make heaven your home. Congratulations. You're saved. Go and sin no more. You are delivered this day from the devil. If you're sick in your body, thank you, Holy Ghost, and you need healing, I curse every devil of bondage. I command every sickness to let you go free and to loose you now and never return in Jesus' name. Go into out of darkness and never return in Jesus' name. Chronic headaches are being healed in Jesus' name. Shoulder pains are being healed. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. There was a growth sitting in somebody's body. I don't know exactly where I hear the Lord say, growths are disappearing. They're shrinking and they're vanishing and they'll not be back. They die at the root, but you will live and not die. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I curse every devil of cancer. In Jesus' name, it's gone. In Jesus' name, by the blood of the Lamb. Somebody has been having a deviated septum. God's healing your deviated septum. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody's actually been having reproductive organ trouble. God told me to tell you, sir, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. God is working it out for you. Do not fret. Do not worry. For someone was worried about a family issue, God says to tell you the devil is defeated. He's already, everything is under the blood for you. God says to tell you to go to that person and apologize. Everything will be worked out. There will be rest and peace. Do not lose another hour of sleep over this, says the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. But right now, Father, I just declare creative miracles in Jesus' name from heaven. Amen. A clogged artery is being unclogged right now. Somebody is receiving a new heart valve, a heart valve transplant from heaven. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. <coughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. Like I said earlier, the enemy is... The enemy tried to take my throat the other day. I mean, literally, the doctor said it looked like I was heading for voice paralysis. It, it sounded like that to them because my voice tried to actually close up. I could not talk. I could not breathe. But God delivered me in the midnight hour. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I bless you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Amen. But, you know, God's healing you in Jesus' name. You're healed Created miracles from the throne room of heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God even shortened. God fixed a short leg. One leg was shorter than the other. God just grew it out. You feel pain around your hip because you had a hip bone issue. God healed that hip bone in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Now, if you're bound up by addiction, we curse every devil of addiction. We command it to go back to the pit of hell where it came from in Jesus' name. We command it to be bound and never rise again. In the name of Jesus, right now, Father God, for your glory, we declare it in Jesus' name. We command you, go free. For he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Bless the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, Father God, you are the baptizer in Holy Ghost and fire. And if anybody has never received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, those who do not understand the baptism of the Holy Ghost, it's of heaven, it's a gift, from God of prayer language to help you pray in a heavenly way that keeps the devil out of the conversation. You can't mess it up and the devil can't mess it up. The devil can't understand you and you can't understand you, but God understands you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Love you, Jesus. If you want to receive the language of prayer, it's a warring gift. It's a gift of warfare from heaven. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but supernatural for the pulling down of strongholds by the power of Almighty God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Amen. So, Father, in Jesus' name, baptize in Holy Ghost and fire right now. Out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. In the name of Jesus, open up and let him talk. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every kindred and tongue, every soul shall hear the gospel. And then the end shall come. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. A right knee is being healed right now. It's very tight in your right knee. You can't bend your knee because of the pain. Well, God is healing you right now in Jesus' name in that right knee. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There goes the pain to somebody. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 
Somebody's been having anxiety and asthma trouble. God is cursing in Jesus' name. We curse that anxiety trouble. You'll not be anxiety trouble no more. And in Jesus' name, God, I thank you, Lord, that you've cursed that issue in the name of Jesus of asthma. You are no longer an asthmatic in Jesus' name. You are a charismatic. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. God's healed your voice so you can shout. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you got touched by this message, if you got saved and you never received, and if you had never been given a Bible and you want to get a Bible, write to me, Henry Kidd, 3374, Tanner's Mill Road, uh, Gainesville, Georgia, 30507. I'll be absolutely glad to, free of charge, send you out a Bible and put it in your hands today. God bless you. I love you with all my heart. And see you there in the next meeting, or I'll see you in the air in heaven. God bless you, and I love you. And if you ever need any more further prayer, I'm here to pray for you. In Jesus' name, God bless. Love y'all. Bye-bye.